What's up, peoples? Um, today is Thursday. I think today has been a day of um, of warnings, warnings and taking heeds. You know, warnings for myself and 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 warnings for the world. Um, scriptures state that you can come against Jesus Christ. You can talk about God Almighty. You can say what you, you know, what you want. But if you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, then there is no forgiveness for that. And um, you know, but you gotta realize that Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh. You can only get through, get to God Almighty through Jesus Christ. And by believing in Jesus Christ, repenting of your sins, being born again of the Spirit, you receive the Holy Spirit. So they all tie together to one. You deny Jesus Christ, you deny God, you deny the Holy Spirit. Now I'm just a messenger. But when you come against somebody that is putting the word out, Christ crucified, telling you to repent of your sins because you don't want to be convicted of your sins... Then you got a problem. Because. Excuse me. Because God is going to deal with you. That's not a game. It's not a game to play against God. I'm feeling some type of way right now. I admit that. Because. I did something that God. Called me to do. Being obedient. I, um, I'm not going to get into details about. What I did. Because it's, it's not important. But I was obedient to what God told me to do. Now, Satan, the devil, whoever he used or whatever, they came behind me and wanted to undo what I did. The message I was getting out, Christ lives, repent. I guess whoever, you know, they didn't like the message. So they decided to, um, to come against that. Now, I don't know about you, but the Holy Spirit lives in me. And when you come against God Almighty, my God, my, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I got an issue with that. I can't do anything about it, but the, the spirit in me has a righteous anger. But this is a warning. If you're out here fooling around with somebody that's preaching the word, preaching, preaching the true gospel, if you're fooling around, you think it's funny, it's not a game. You think it's a game, open the Bible up, read it for yourself. And see everything the blessings and curses. See the judgment that God is going to pour out upon this earth. Because of our sins. Because of our inequity. Because of our rebellion. Because of our re unwillingness to repent from our sins. Because we want to dwell, continue to dwell in them. Think it's okay. It's not okay. And God is going to pour his judgment upon this earth. And it's not going to be pretty. And everything honky dory now, you're smiling and laughing now. But when it's hell on earth, and one third of the world is destroyed, one third of mankind destroyed, you may be one of them. You may not get a chance to do it over again. You may not get a chance to repent. This may be your last chance. So take this as a warning. Quit playing with God. Quit playing with sin. Because if you do, you're going to die in them. And you're going to be in hell forever. God bless you all. I love you in Jesus Christ's name.